of another version of a popular story called Wayanetta and the Cornstalk by Helen Ketterman. Once a whip of a girl named Wayanetta lived with her ma on a ranch in the poorest, scrubbiest part of Texas. They worked hard as eight-legged mules, but barely scraped by. One long dry summer, the well bottomed out. The pastures dried up and the longhorn cattle got so thin it took three of them standing together to cast a shadow. Wayanetta and her ma had to sell off the longhorns until only one was left. Finally, ma gave up altogether. We've run out of money to buy feed, Wayanetta. You'd best sell the, that last critter. Before it starves, Wayanetta headed out with the Longhorn. After a while, she met a stranger. Howdy, Missy, he said. Where are you taking that sorry looking critter? I aim to sell him, Wayanetta answered. How's about trading him for a handful of magic corn? Asked the stranger. Magic corn? asked Wayanetta. What does it do? These corn kernels will bring you luck, little lady. We sure could use some luck, Wayanetta said. It's a deal. When she got home, Wayanetta dropped the kernels in Ma's hands. Look, she said with a grin, magic corn. Ma frowned. You must be chuckle-headed, girl. The only magic this corn's got is the disappearing kind, and she tossed them out the window. Wayanetta felt lower than a coyote in a canyon. How could she make it up to Ma? The next morning, Wayanetta looked out the window. A giant cornstalk blocked the sun. She hurried outside. That looks like magic to me, she said, and I aim to find some luck. She started climbing. When she broke through the clouds, Wayanetta could hardly believe her eyes. There was the biggest ranch she'd ever seen. When she walked to the front door, it was so huge, she could barely reach over the doorstep. She gathered her courage and knocked. A giant woman opened the door. Why, you're purty as a blue bonnet. Where'd you come from? I climbed from the giant cornstalk, ma'am, answered Wayanetta. The giant woman picked up Wayanetta. I reckon you come to take back the things my husband stole from your ma years ago. She set Wayanetta on a giant sized table. You best have a bite to eat and be careful, darling. My husband's a mean one. Wayanetta was chowing down on a great big chicken fried steak when a loud, angry voice called, Fee, fi, fo, fat. I think I smell a cowgirl brat. Fee, fi, fo, feet. Chicken fried cowgirls, what I'll eat. Hide, the giant woman whispered and Wayanetta hid behind a bowl of beans, just as the giant stomped into the room. The giant yanked open the pantry door. Out stro strolled a longhorn no bigger than a barn cat. He stroked its ear, and a golden cow pat fell to the floor. I love gold, the giant shouted. Next, he took out a teeny lariat and whirled it backwards over his head. He looped it around a thimble-sized bucket. I love this rope, it never misses. And finally, he tilted the tiny bucket over a huge tub. Water poured into the tub, filling it. I love that bucket, it never runs out of water. And he dropped the rope on the floor, looped the bucket around his pinky, and climbed into the tub to soak. Soon he fell asleep. Wayanetta took a deep breath. With those things, 
and some hard work, Ma and I can make our own luck. Leonetta climbed off the table and tiptoed to the tub. She picked up the lariat and lassoed the longhorn. But when she tried to slip the bucket off the giant's pinky, he woke up. Wayanetta hightailed it to the cornstalk, scrambled to the ground where Ma was waiting. Ma gasped, why, that looks like my little longhorn missing all these years. She rubbed its ear and sure enough, a golden cow pat fell to the ground. It's him, Ma, said Wayanetta. Now we can buy a new herd of cattle. Wayanetta, darling, said Ma. Sometimes I wonder if that taco brain of yours is a bit short of filling. Gold or no gold, we can't raise cattle without no water. That's why I'm gonna that's why I'm going back up, Ma, to get the magic bucket. Wayanetta hid the lariat under her hat and climbed the cornstalk again. The giant's wife let her in. I need that bucket, ma'am, said Wayanetta. The giant woman nodded. Be extra careful. My husband's as mad as a fire ant. From the hallway, the giant's voice thundered. Fee, fi, fo, fin. I smell that cowgirl brat again. Fee, fi, fo, fits. I'll cook myself some cowgirl grits. As the giant stormed into the kitchen, Wayanetta ran right between his boots and grabbed the bucket. Well, if it ain't the seasoning for my grits, the giant shouted. He stomped after her. Wayanetta raced to the cornstalk. She was almost there when the giant grabbed her. I feel hungry and you look tasty, he roared. Wayanetta whirled the lariat. Do your stuff, rope! And she lassoed the giant's nose and tugged hard. Arg! yelled the giant, dropping Wayanetta. Wayanetta leapt on the cornstalk. The giant climbed after her. Fee, fi, fo, fow! That cowgirl brat has had it now. Fee, fi, fo, few! That cowgirl's gonna be barbecue! Ma was waiting on the ground with an axe. Bridle your jaw, mister, she shouted. That cowgirl's my daughter. The instant Wayanetta leapt off the cornstalk, Ma swung the axe and in three strong blows chopped the cornstalk down. Flunk! The giant crashed to the ground, making a deep, giant-shaped hole. Wayanetta tipped the bucket over the hole. I hope that giant can swim, she said. In no time, the hole became a fine lake. With plenty of water and grass, grass grew on the ranch once again. And with the golden cow patties, Wayanetta and her mom bought a new herd of longhorns. As for the giant, he bonked his head so hard in the fall he knocked the mean right out of him. He and his wife stayed on the ranch and worked along, alongside Wayanetta and her ma. And they all lived happy as June bugs ever after. I hope you enjoyed that version of the story, Wayanetta and the Cornstalk.